so much, Dean Filler, um, and thank you to Judge Simons, as well as Mr. Oxholm, um, for joining us for tonight's colloquium. Um, so as Dean Filler said, my name is Caitlin Barlow, and I was lucky enough to be the 14th recipient of the Oxholm Fellowship. So last summer, um, I spent the summer at the city solicitor's office in the tort litigation unit. Um, and if you even know me in passing at Klein, you know that I love torts. Um, so I couldn't fit, just pick a more fitting unit, um, so much so that I've returned this semester um, to complete my pro bono requirement um, for graduation. So just before this call, I actually just came from the arbitration center um, where I took lead on an arbitration this afternoon. Um, so excited to see the results of that. Um, I want to specifically thank Mr. Oxholm um, for supporting this gift to the university year after year. Um, it made this position possible for me um, around this time last semester, in the fall semester. Um, I was starting to get nervous of whether I would get to pick a position in an area that I'm passionate about and care about, um, particularly public service and uh, local government, or if I would have to go the OCI route and try to find a paid position so I didn't deal with the added stress of financials over the summer. Um, so I was thrilled um, to be the recipient um, and it is definitely one of the proudest moments I've had thus far in my law school career. So when I think about my time at the city solicitor's office, uh, two big things come to mind. Um, first, the environment and the people that you get to work with, um, but also the work that you get to do as a student. Um, so I was a certified legal intern, um, which you're able to do if you meet certain requirements, um, which meant I got to do a little bit more than maybe your average intern, um, such as leading arbitrations um, under you know, my supervisor's watchful eye. Um, so over the summer, I got to work on a variety of motions practice, different answers. Um, I got to observe settlement conferences um, and everything like that. Um, but I think what was most meaningful is in talking to my peers and friends across the university um, in the Klein School of Law, it seemed like the experience I got was the most substantive. Um, so while my friends were observing depositions, I was actually given the chance to um, lead a few depositions um, and complete all of the questioning on behalf of the city. Um, when my friends were observing client calls, I was the one on the other line of the phone for city employees um, who were the ones who were really stressed out um, when they're named in these tort litigation cases. Um, so I was getting hands-on experience, troubleshooting on my feet um, in a way that I don't know would be possible in some other institutions. Um, and I think that that speaks towards the culture of the city solicitor's office that I got to experience when I was there. Um, so I was lucky enough that my team allowed me to come in in person, um, even though the office wasn't fully open this summer. Um, and I got to experience firsthand the collaborative environment of the city solicitor's office. Um, attorneys were constantly in and out of each other's offices. Um, just, hey, I have a one-off question or do you have a memo so I don't have to reinvent the wheel on this one issue. Um, and I think that that really spoke to the trust um, and confidence that they put in me as an intern. Um, my biggest takeaway from this summer, um, as I've shared with many people, was just the reassurance that the skills I worked so hard on in the classroom showed up and were applicable in the real world of practicing law. Um, and a lot of that to do is the supervisors and attorneys that I worked with at the city. Um, so they gave me a ton of autonomy over the different projects I was doing. If I had a different idea or thought that we should try a defense or argue something a certain way, um, I was included as a member of the team as someone who had been there, you know, for 10 years before me. Um, and I think that that was what was most pivotal about this experience, um, is it taught me how to be a smart young attorney. Uh, it taught me how to think on my feet. Um, and I think even our tech issues in the beginning of this bodes well um, for the attendance as people who may be future public servants, um, that we're often put in a position um, to think on our feet and serve a population larger than ourselves. Um, and that was why I had applied for this um, fellowship in the first place. I love the city of Philadelphia. Um, and I thought for me, um, the work that I wanted to start in my career should start here at home um, and serving the people in the neighborhoods that I've lived for about 10 years now um, and getting things off the ground. Um, so I'm excited that you are all here in attendance. Um, I only have a few moments left. Um, but I will drop my email in the chat if anyone has questions that they want to follow up with about my experience, because I could go on for days, um, because I genuinely um, adored my time this summer um, and the time that I'm continuing to have this semester. 
So I would encourage you, um, don't only apply for the Ox Home Fellowship, um, although it is a pretty sweet deal, um, but also apply to the city solicitor's office anyway, if you're not chosen. I think the experience um, and the work products that you get to do there um, really make a difference. Um, and I felt everything that I touched this summer, I had an idea of what the end product would be and what my role in that was. Um, so I thank you so much for your time um, and I'll pass it back to you, Dean Filler.